What up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Hikari um, algae wafers. This is a pretty big bag but um, I personally do use them. I want to talk today about the pros and cons and how to use it, how much to feed, how much should you feed, how often should you do the water changes, what, are the, what happens if you don't feed, etc. What happens if you overfeed. So like, let's start with the, with the negatives, right? It's very easy to overfeed with this. Well, not, sorry. With this um, but that goes with any food you know you can it's very easy to overfeed because when you when you drop like a sinking wafer you know they're not gonna eat it within two minutes you know they're gonna take some time to actually go at it they're plecos you know they're not they don't they don't go crazy like guppies when you put in uh, flakes or something like that you know they just go crazy after it no it's not the same anyway what's it called um, so what happens most of the time is that you just throw in there and hope they eat it all but if you don't eat it, you have to actually pick up the waste. So I just throw in a little bit, and a little bit, because I do have plecos in both of those tanks. But I want to show you guys how I feed, actually. So um, these are the, the wafers. So what I would like to recommend is usually about half. So I feed maybe twice a day or once a day, but I feed every day. So what I would recommend is actually, if you're only feeling feeding pellets um, maybe one pellet a day per fish if they're fully grown if they're not fully grown I would feed about one pellet for 30 fish like the little baby ones when they're just like fry and they're just starting to eat you're gonna throw one of these in you want to only feed like maybe um, let's say less than one inch in size you want to feed one pellet for every 25 to 30 of them and you just wait for them to finish that before you put in another one. So they, uh, when they're so that small, you want to make sure their bellies are fat. And you want to make sure they're always eating. So, but you don't want to stink up the food and cause a bunch of mess. So what you want to do is just, I, what I do is just break it up into little pieces, etc. Keep breaking it so I can spread it around. So once I break it, I actually just, just throw them all in there like that, little pieces. And that's enough because I have a little breeder box and I put them in there and I wait for them to finish that. Once I don't see anything in there, I just go and put another one in, following the same process. But if they're fully grown, I still break it up because I have a bunch of them. Like in my 55-gallon my tank, I have a few plecos in there and I still break up the pellets because it's actually easier for them, the other ones to find, you know, in person with one, one pleco on top, on top of one pellet. So the pros about it is that you they sink to the bottom and then you what's it called it's a lot easier to feed compared to zucchini and um what's it called let's say zucchini veg any vegetable that you have to first or rapashi you know you have to make rapashi i've done a video of that too if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out but um i've done a video on rapashi i've done it on other wafers but this is the first time using hikari algae wafers at least i think so but i've been using them for some time and they work i like the a variety i don't personally recommend only feeding this to your bottom feeders but it's a very good option, especially when you're lazy like me. Sometimes you just don't want to do the whole effort. But they can get pricey. I think this bag was like $20. But it lasts me a good amount of time. If you have, like in this tank, I have about four, full, about to be fully grown plecos. So I can easily throw two in there in the morning and then I break it up like this and then two in the afternoon. And if there's anything overfeeding, anything like that, I would just, you can see it, um, it dissolves. So it'll turn into like this weird looking like kind of like poop looking thing so uh, kind of like let me see what's the word for it hmm it'll turn into like moam it looks like moam and what's it uh it just looks very dirty so well, all i do is use a little uh baster or a, a suction thing just to take out that and then and that's more than enough i overfeed but that barely ever happens because i with time you get to learn how much you should feed at a certain pace like in there, I only have two fully grown plecos and I'll only throw in one way for sometimes a day. If I'm trying to be really conditioned and I see them finish it really fast, I'll put another one in. It all depends on how many you have and how often you should feed. So what I would recommend if you're gonna be feeding your plecos, if you're trying to breed, you, always, you obviously wanna get them fat. So what I always do is I always feed some type of way for every single day. And um, what's it, let's say I'm, I have a colony of six. You could do the math and divide it on that later after that. I'll throw in three of these every single day. And then, 
um, in the middle of the week, I'll throw in like a zucchini. I'll throw um, a blanched zucchini. Just a little chunk, and I'll, I won't feed until that's gone again. Basically, so I'll throw in this like every day, and then randomly I'll just choose, oh, okay, today I'm going to put in some zucchini. I'll throw that in there, and I'll wait for that zucchini to be finished before I'll throw in some wafers. Um, <clears throat> but if you only have, if you're just constantly just feeding them this, I think they can actually cause bloat. They can get too fat, because, um... They're pellets. They're not, you know, you can't compare it to frozen foods, um, vegetables. Just, there's no there's no competition. But overall, I do recommend it. Uh, what's it called? Let's see, it contains pure cultured spirulina. Natural green color from mutual benefit algaes. You know, they are algae eaters, so... They are very um, plant-based feed fish that do pretty well. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, they do they do pretty well, and they, I've had them for like a whole week or two weeks just on this, and they've, they've done fine. So it's not like you'll, you'll kill the fish by only feeding them this, but you also want to make sure that um, you also try to at least give a, a variety of diet. And hmm. oh, another thing, when you're overfeeding, it's okay. Like I overfeed sometimes. But you have to make sure you keep up with water maintenance, because this, you know, it will damage your water quality. It will make it bad and spoil it, and you're gonna have to do a water change. Otherwise, the ammonia spike will be crazy, and then it could end up killing all your fish. You know, you don't want that. I mean, it sounds more dangerous than it is, because um, there's a lot of preventable things that happen before that. You do daily water changes, etc. Those little um, um alerts I have in this tank over here. You can see it right there. I don't look each corner. I've done a video on that too. You guys should pick that up. Um, it actually helps a lot. I'm lazy to do the test sometimes. So they do say they don't. don't they're not as uh, accurate as the as the full master test kit. But when you have so many tanks, what are you gonna do? You, you know what I mean. But overall, yeah, I do recommend it. I would buy it. I buy this. I also buy this type. Bug bites. Um, I bought this type. What else do I get? I also feed my my bottom feeders for pashi, um, zucchini. I've tried green sprouts and bell and bell pepper, but it's not the same. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, would I buy it? Yes, yes, I would buy. It. Um, how often would I feed it? Um, if I have a variety of diet, maybe five days a week, four days a week, um, and then the rest on the others. Would I uh, out of let's say? Out of 10 stars, um, a rating out of 10 would be an 8. I'd give this a solid 8. This is a good food to keep them maintained on a uh, daily ba basis thing. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> anyway, if you guys haven't seen the other videos yet, which you guys definitely should check out my other videos, I am now selling guppies. I'm selling guppies, and soon I will be selling plecos, bottom feeders. Yep, these little guys. But I'm going to be selling common plecos, bris all bristlenose plecos. I have no full-grown large plecos, all bristlenose. I have some super reds, I have some yellow lemon blue eyes, and I also have some regular common ones, and I also have some long fin chocolates. These are basically just regular um, bristle nose with long fins, but no color, no fancy bright little color. Anyway, if you guys are interested, let me know. I also selling these guys, the guppies, you can see them in the background. Um, I am selling them on eBay, but if you guys don't want to go through eBay, I can sell them to you guys a little cheaper. I am located in New York White Plains, um, but I also will ship. But if you guys want to work out something better, maybe through PayPal or we can figure something out, Zelly, etc. We'll work it out. Uh, eBay charges me a high fee just to sell it to you guys, so I have to charge a little more through eBay. So, But I don't mind, so let me know. Let me know, guys. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. And that's my review on uh, Hakari's algae wafers.